Kimchi is incredibly simple to make at home. First, gather all your ingredients into one place. And after clearing a spot on your cutting board, take your Napa cabbage and using the tip of your knife, cut across in the stem. This will allow you to tear apart the cabbage into four pieces. Next, simply cut off the stem and the Napa cabbage into bite-sized pieces, adding to a bowl to be washed. After the cabbage has been washed, take three to four handfuls and add it to a larger bowl, sprinkling with one tablespoon of salt. Using your hand, massage the salt into the Napa cabbage using your fist for pressure. Repeat this process until you have used up all the cabbage. Take the bok choy and cut into bite-sized pieces. Peel the Korean radish and also chop into bite-sized pieces. Then lastly, cut the green onions into larger pieces. Add these vegetables to the Napa cabbage and stir together very well. Now it is time to make the sauce. Cut off a thumb-sized piece of ginger and using the edge of a spoon, peel the skin off the ginger. Then chop and add to either a blender or food processor. Peel several pieces of garlic and also add to the processor. Chop up some garlic and some ginger to add directly to the vegetables raw. Next, peel an onion, chop, and also add to the blender. Blend together, then add a little of the brine from the vegetables. This will allow you to blend into a smoother paste. Then add one tablespoon of fish sauce and your chili powder. Then blend it all together into a smooth paste. Add the paste to the vegetables. Using your hands, mix well making sure that all the vegetables are covered with the paste. Then, taking handfuls, add it to your pickling jar, being sure to press down firmly to eliminate any of the air pockets that might exist. Top off with the brine, then add your pickling top and close the jar, making sure that it is airtight. Cover with a cloth to protect it from the sun and store it at room temperature for four to five days. Finally, after four to five days, remove the kimchi from the jar and then add to smaller jars to be stored in the fridge. And that is how you make kimchi.